Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for October 24. This one is a list of paid systems and tools. In the last video I already covered the best free new assets, and next one I'll be covering paid asset effects. As always, there's links to the asset in the description, and as a bonus you can use the coupon code monkey10 to get 10% off your order. And right now there's three awesome things. On the Unity Asset Store there's a Cindy Studio sale. Importantly, this one has a nice free asset. You can get the Polygon Construction Pack completely for free. It's a pretty fun pack. You could use this to make some kind of house building game, maybe something like The Sims, maybe some kind of management game running a construction company, or just get a bunch of interesting characters and a ton of props. This one is completely free for just a few more days, so definitely get it quickly. Or to celebrate the release of Unity 6, Unity has made a really nice mega bundle. This one contains a bunch of visual assets and tools, all at 97% off, so just 30 bucks. It includes over here the all-in-one sprite shader. I think the bundle is worth it just for this one. If you have any kind of sprites in your game, this is an awesome way to add tons of effects. I haven't made a video review on this one quite a while ago. You also have this really nice stylized environment. You can make infinite characters with this modular pack. I also made a tutorial on character customization. You've got an engine to help you get started on any kind of FPS game. You've got a really nice tune shader. I always think these look awesome. Then you also have a bunch of UIs and a ton more things. Or there's also a tone bundle on Humble Bundle. This one has all kinds of tools and a bunch of visuals. For example, you've got a motion matching system. This is an interesting way of handling animations. You've got a pack with over 4,000 resource icons. You've got this nice arcade multiplayer game template. There's a nice kit for making card games. You've got a bunch of nice shoot effects or some very weird eyes animators. So you have another bundle, a ton of stuff. If just one of these looks interesting, then the whole thing is worth it. So check out everything with the links in the description. And don't forget to pick up the free asset quickly. All right, so starting off with a really cool looking effect called the Lattice Modifier. This one lets you define some bounds. And then by modifying those bounds, you can modify the mesh inside of it. It looks really cool. You can deform a box by dropping something on it. I imagine this would be perfect for doing some kind of deformation on some card game. Or it also works with skin meshes. So you can have your player have all kinds of very interesting shapes. On top of that, everything can be animated. So this sample of the duck going into a pipe looks really great. Really excellent effect. I love how it looks. This is definitely a great tool that seems super easy to use and will add quite a bit of polish onto your game. Next, if you want to do some modeling directly inside of Unity, here is UModeler X+. I find it really interesting how this tool is super popular. They even had a sponsor booth at Unite. I wonder how many people prefer this over something like Blender. The benefit is, of course, how it's directly inside Unity. So there's no need to go to an external program. This one has tons of 5 star reviews, so clearly people do love this. This is the brand new version. I'm not sure what exactly is different from a previous version, but it seems packed with features. You can do modeling, texturing, rigging, normal painting, and a bunch more. It has a ton of custom menus for doing all of those separate tasks. The final demo scene shown in the video definitely looks gorgeous. So if you are a skilled 3D modeler, you can definitely build something awesome with this tool. This also makes me wonder just how similar are all of these 3D modeling tools. For example, for me as a programmer, it is relatively easy to pick up a new language since all programming languages, all of them share a lot of common things. So I wonder if that's the same for 3D modelers. I wonder if you can easily swap from Blender onto this and so on. Either way, if you want to do some modeling inside Unity, then this looks excellent. Next, if you want to handle tons of items with complex crafting, look at this inventory engine. You can easily define your items along with all their settings by using a really intuitive custom editor window. This tool also helps you create and set up various windows with all their visuals. So you can customize how your inventory looks or how the crafting window works. You can craft items and then enhance them with unique enchantments. The inventories can be applied to anything, so you can give the player an inventory or also give it to an NPC or merchant or loot box and so on. This looks like a very well built asset. The documentation is super thorough and it even includes a bunch of asset icons. Then here's a simple but potentially very useful one. It's an exporter from Unreal into Unity. This is the updated version. It's the 2025 edition. This can be really useful mainly for one really awesome thing. Every once in a while, Humble Bundle has a bunch of awesome bundles with excellent assets. A lot of the times they are Unity and Unreal, but some assets are Unreal only. Technically, visual assets are really just meshes and textures which work on any engine, so there's no reason why you can't use those Unreal assets in Unity. For meshes and textures, you can really just copy paste those into Unity, but for materials and shaders, for those you do need to handle some conversion, which is exactly what this tool does. This is an Unreal plugin and it will allow you to export an entire Unreal scene into Unity. It will correctly convert all the static meshes, all the LODs, collision shapes, decals, lights and so on. This really seems like it can convert almost an entire project. Some things like clouds, cloth, winds and so on are not supported. But like I said, for the main use case of being able to buy super cheap assets and use them in your Unity projects, for that, this looks really awesome. Next, if you want to create skill trees, here is a tool to help you with that. 
You have a board where you can easily place all your skills and all the required connections between them. The connection logic works, so you can define that one skill requires another previous one to be unlocked. You can add more custom logic to each of those unlocks. DY also has a tooltip where you can add all info for all of your skills. And it includes a hotbar where you can assign each skill. I made a tutorial on how to make a skill tree system a long time ago, but if all you want is something that just works, then maybe look at this one. Then if you want to find performance hotspots in your game, check out this tool. You basically define a volume for all your levels, you set up the camera settings, so the FOV and so on, then it will automatically go through the entire level and find all spots where performance is either good or bad. You can actually control what the colors mean, so you can track triangles, draw calls, batches and more. You basically define a value and a color and you can easily see which parts of your level need more optimization. The heat map is shown in 3D, it's really all voxels so you can find performance hotspots at different heights. This is very useful if you have complex environments or if you're targeting a limited device like mobile or VR. There's no need to play through the game every time you make a change. You really just make a change, change something, then rebuild the heat map and you can instantly see if it did help. Next here's a fun one called Shadow Meter. If you've ever wanted to make your own Splinter Cell, then this is the perfect starting point. That game is all about light and shadow, and that's exactly what this asset does. You position the object to detect light directly on the character, modify all the parameters like the range and the refresh rate. It comes with a pre-made UI element that shows the light state. So as you go from darkness to light, it correctly shows the current state. It looks very responsive, really nice. I made something similar to this in my V-Rising video. However, the method I used in that one only worked with sunlight, whereas this one works with any light, even works with point lights on the map and works with occlusion. So yep, if you wanted to make your own splinter cell since Ubisoft apparently doesn't want to, if so, then this would be a great starting point. Then if you work with others, here is a tool for helping you with collaboration. It helps you keep track of tasks with a Kanban board, it has roles, a calendar, and also allows you to write in-scene annotations. This looks like it has quite a lot of features. Personally, I only work solo, but I can imagine that a tool like this would be quite useful when working with a team. The custom editor windows, they have lots of options for keeping track of pretty much everything that needs doing. And the in-scene notes, these look really great. I wonder if they are tracked to a particular object or just stay on a global position. Now importantly, this is not online, so it does not require a server connection or anything. All the data is stored in a scriptable object, which you can then push to a GitHub to share with your collaborators. Then if you want to make a fast-paced game, here's a great parkour controller. It features lots of actions, slides, jumps, wall runs, double jumps, and a bunch more. It includes not just the movement, but also a nice weapon system. You can pick up a weapon and do all your movement while shooting at the same time. So this would be a really great starting point if you want to make a super fast-paced parkour game. And then here's a fun, simple one. It's a tool that lets you save any kind of data inside a PNG file. Naturally, that can be your game save files, but it can really be anything. Data is data. So it could be a custom level made with some level editor. It could be a custom character or maybe some behavior for an NPC. The data is hidden in the less significant bytes, which means you really just see an image. Personally, I always find this a fascinating topic. It's called steganography. Although I do wonder if this works when uploading the image to something like Twitter or Reddit. Those websites usually apply extra compression, which I imagine could break the save data, but perhaps not. Perhaps they added a bunch of error correction. Either way, it's definitely a fun idea to share save files with your friends by simply sending them an image. Alright, so those are my top 10 new tools and systems on the NTS store for October 24. There's links to all in the description, and as bonus, you can use my coupon code MONKEY10 to get 10% off your order. And also check out my own free and on the store. And don't forget to pick up the free asset quickly.